golden retrievers. Lovely, lovely, lovely dogs, aren't you, sweetheart? Young lad here, just arrived this morning, Milo. And as always, Milo, yeah. sit. We've got to connect, but I talk a lot about finding the right method to do just that. You need to find the right tool, the right game, the right food, the right method to tap into this dog or any dog quickly, effectively, so that you are always gaining positive results. So quite rapidly, Milo, Milo, there is an engagement there. He knows his name and he's coming. Good lad. Sit. Basic commands. But this is my point. This is Skinner's Field and Trial 26. You know, a high grade quality food kibble. Milo, come on, good boy. Sit. Not interested at all. Not interested. Sniffing it, looking away. No, not even bothered about putting that in his mouth. Ham. Sniffing it, not even interested at all. Couldn't give a toss. Sprats, sit. Oh, there you go. Do you like that? But again, not overly interested. He's just dropped that on the floor, so I'm going to try again. Couldn't give a toss, okay? So, <coughs> this is why you have to have a number of different tools in your armory. Because quite clearly, training this young dog using food as a motivator is not gonna work. It's not gonna help us. He couldn't give a rat's backside if I stood there like a waiter and held a plate of steak and chips under his nose. Wouldn't care. So what we need to do is we need to find another method. And in this case, it's going to be play because if food isn't a motivator, we haven't really got a lot to fall back on. So we've got to find a game that he finds enjoying. We've got to find a game that he maintains engagement and focus and a, and a keenness and an, and an eagerness to learn new skills when he's with us. So we need to find a game. And guess what? Through experience, he's a retriever. What's he gonna like? Retrieving something, okay? So we'll allow him to decompress, we'll allow him to sniff, we'll allow him to build up a scent picture in his new environment. I'll wander up and down and I'll stroke him and, and call his name just to get some form of friendship going. Hello, come on, good lad. Which isn't too bad, actually. You're there, mate, aren't you? But to take it to that next level, for him to learn new skills, learn new disciplines, learn new things in life, we're gonna to have to use fun, pleasure, and play in the form of a game as an alternative to food reward, treating him. Because you've just seen, he couldn't give a toss about food. Could you, bud? Hey, 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 good lad, good boy. Yes, good boy. So we're relying on physical touch, we're relying on physical praise, good boy, to maintain eye contact, to maintain engagement, to maintain focus, just so that, come on in, good boy, just so that you can achieve in a positive way. Good boy, well done. Make sure you've got lots of tools in your toolbox. Make sure you've got a plan B, C, D, E and F to fall back on if needed. Good boy. Yes, good lad. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Good lad.